Hi, it's Paul. I thought I'd take a moment on this blog post just to talk about some of the news in the housing and construction and real estate industry that's been taking place over the last 10 days to two weeks or so. It seems that good news is trickling in. Housing starts up. In some areas, prices are on the increase, and of course, the mortgage rates are very low. Uh, in fact, I even got a tweet this morning, a, a Twitter message from a national home builder that is offering sub 4% mortgage lending to qualified buyers. Uh, maybe you even saw the Sunday morning news programs over the last couple of Sundays where politicians are saying things like the president's stimulus package is beginning to take hold, the money that has been allocated is now going to the places where uh, it belongs. I don't know if any of that's true. Time will tell. What is true is that those kinds of reports affect the public's perception about the construction industry, the housing industry, and about real estate prices. So what does that mean for you? Well, a few things. Number one, you're going to start to see more traffic. Uh, you're going to get more emails, more phone calls, more people coming into your place of business out of curiosity or maybe they're searching or they're starting their shopping process. So be prepared for that increase in traffic. I know that some of you are going to welcome that traffic and that's great. So be prepared for the increase. Secondly, buyers are still going to be skeptical. It's as though they've been bruised over the last 12 to 18 months with all of the negative media news. And so when they come in and visit with you, they're still going to have some skepticism. They perhaps won't see things as optimistically as you will. So be prepared to talk to them on that level. And third, the buying cycle, the actual cycle of the buyer making a decision is still going to take a while because they've had an experience over the last 12 to 18 months that has sort of, have, sort of bruised them, the cycle itself is going to take longer. Um, not quite as long as it would have, say, six months or so ago, but it will require patience and determination on your part. So what do you do with the information that has been uh, going on in the, in the media over the last 10 days to two weeks? Well, first of all, I would collect all of the news media reports that you can, either uh, from your local newspaper, off the television, and certainly off the internet, Yahoo News, and the like. I would collate those, I would, uh, I would laminate them, I would create a piece of nice collateral material to be able to hand to your prospective client uh, just to sort of reinforce and build, what they, build on what they are hearing in the media. Secondly, I would take that information and I would send it out all uh, to your past uh, contacts into your past prospects over the la from that you've had over the last six to twelve months and I would reopen the conversation with them about what their needs are what their desires are and how the current news can fit into their buying process and their decision-making process and third I would really educate myself on what's going on in the marketplace so that you can have a educated conversation with these prospective customers. You don't want to be Pollyanna in any shape, form, or fashion. You do want to be optimistic and you do want to be hopeful with them, but yet you want to have a factual conversation based on real projections and what you determine to be the realities of the marketplace. Well, all of this to say is, is that the news that is coming out is beginning to look good. Uh, we're still going to sit, have some time in front of us where we need to develop more clients and we need to uh, be patient with the marketplace. But all this information you take and you create urgency that now is the time to buy in the housing and construction market. We all know that when housing starts increase and a few sales are made, then the demand increases. And once the demand increases, then prices increase. And all of that can create urgency on the part of your buyer if you will just guide them and direct them down that road. So pay attention to the news and use it to your advantage. Until we meet next time, take good care of yourself and your loved ones.